in the auditorium and as I've said, you will notice the Art Deco theme all the way through the building. Very simplistic, you can see all the way around and the panelling and all the plasterwork is original and um, we're very proud of it. That we have 366 seats, all of which are unrestricted views. But let's go back to the beginning. When this place was built, it was actually called the Joseph Rowntree Hall. It only became known as the theatre sometime in the late 40s. And that is also the time when it stopped having a stepped auditorium and had a rake put in. The rake is the slope that you walk down so that everybody in the auditorium can see onto the stage quite clearly and easily. So here I am just in front of the stage. Behind me is the orchestra pit. Many of the shows that we have here do bring a live band or orchestra with them. You can fit around about 12 to 14 people in there comfortably, though I have seen slightly more squeezed in, but how they manage to play their instruments is amazing to me. But this um, theatre, as I've said, is very much a community theatre, and the people that are performing here are all from the local groups, but we do also have um, professional companies from time to time. They don't tend to stay um, for a long run because they're generally doing a tour around the north of England. So here I am now on the stage uh, of the theatre and looking out into the auditorium, you can see once again what a fantastic Art Deco design it is. And also, and I will always plug this, no restricted views. But if you looked way, way up, um, we are underneath what we call the fly tower. The fly tower is where the scenery and the lighting is stored, kept. But the fly tower here is actually 15 metres high. And if you want that in old fashioned terms, it's round about 50 feet. Um, but the flying system, which is oh, just over there, it was purpose made for this theatre and it was, believe it or not, made in the engineering department across the road in the Roundtree Chocolate Factory. And on that note, we are one of the few community theatres that has got a fly tower uh, and not, don't have to push the scenery on um, from the side and we don't have to climb up ladders to deal with the lights. <laughs> This is the flying system. There are lines, poles above the stage, and to each of those is attached um, curtains, scenery, lighting, whatever. And basically, they are flown in. It's a counterbalance system, as you can see here. Uh, basically, you, you counterbalance the weight with the weight of the scenery or lighting that you've put onto the bar, and then these lead weights here will bring it up and down. It's a question of hauling on this rope. Now there are 22 lines here altogether, um, so whatever they bring in with them, the company that's coming in to do the show, um, they can attach their scenery. We of course already have um, these curtains of our own attached. We call these legs. They are what shields um, the cast waiting to come on stage and also the stage crew from the view of the audience. You have to be specially trained to use this. You can't just do it automatically. And we do also say that people should be over 18. Um, it requires a certain amount of physical strength, um, but not an undue amount. 